I just finished uh, doing the preliminary exterior um, uh, condition uh, analysis. Uh, but what I'll do here is I'll just take a quick look here uh, on the video and kind of share with uh, you what I saw or didn't see. Uh, paint looks pretty good. It's got a nice little luster to it. Um, saw some scratches and, and uh, chips, but uh, nothing significant. These paint meter readings are seven thousandths of an inch. So this uh, meter is reading in the thousandths of an inch. So we've got seven, we've got eight, 7.5, and seven so we're getting good solid readings there when we get the um 19.7 uh, and over sign that's an indication of body filler uh hidden damage or what have you headlights look pretty good chrome is decent here on the bumper just a little ding right there probably from the bolt uh pushing into the bumper at one time star i always like to check these uh, uh look pretty good uh rubber is in decent condition and didn't see any cracks here uh, let's get the left fender. We've got 6.5, 7, 4.5, and 4. So we're still getting some good solid readings. Uh, looking at the left front tire. Uh, let's see here. Uh, I've got the um, still photos of the tire size and uh, the DOT if I can decode them for you. Moving on uh, with the windshield. No cracks or chips here. But as we move uh, towards the middle here, we've got a little chip here. Nice size one here and even bigger there. So... At some point, you're going to want to replace the windshield. Uh, looking at the uh, roof line here, let's get some reading. Three and a half, four, 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 and four and a half. The reason I like to take paint meter readings up here is uh, sometimes you know, people like to jump on their roofs and damage it. So that's what I'm checking for to see if it's still straight. And then it appears so. Good. Okay, uh, looking at the windows, decent shape. Just the uh, rubber here is. Uh, Cracked and deteriorated. Uh, it's something you can add on your, your checklist of things to improve if you decide to purchase a car. Here are the paint. Kind of broken down here a little bit. Um, so let's get some readings here. So 9.5, 16, okay, 19.7. So this might have a little bit of body filler here in this area here. Uh, but it's not the whole panel, just a small area. Uh, seven, six and a half. Six and a half. And again, you can see some uh, cracking here in the paint again, but it's pretty hard to notice. Um, so six and a half, four and a half, and five and a half. Five, five, four and a half. Rear glass, uh, from what I can see, the um, defroster lines uh, look like they're all intact. Don't see any cracks back there. Here's a quick view of the top. Okay, let's get a little side view. What I like to do is I just like to check for rippling, dings, or dents. It's a nice uh, profile shot. Uh, tail light lenses. Didn't see any obvious cracks there. Okay, another view from this side here. And let's go ahead and do a side view. All right. Good. All right, I always like to open up the uh, filler cap there. And uh, the area is nice and clean. Uh, good attention to detail. Uh, a lot of people forget to clean in there and it's all grimy. Right, the, there's a small little ding here. And again, I'm not gonna point out, be able to point out every little ding, but I know uh, if I catch them in the right light uh, and the reflection, you'll pick up some very small ones. Uh, your casual observer probably wouldn't even pick up on that stuff. All right. Okay, let's get some readings out here. Four, 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 good. Right quarter panel, good solid readings. Got the door, three and a half. 4.5 and 4. Good readings. Didn't see any, uh, sometimes these mirrors get beat up. Didn't see any scratches there. Again, looking at the roof on this end here. 4, 4, 4. And here's another view of that, uh, of that, that glass right there where it shattered. All right. Oh, there, there was a long scratch I'd seen over here. Um, where did I see that? I was running across. Oh, here it is. So it starts from here to here so again it's kind of hard to see but it's there okay so that you're aware of everything yeah i'll go into the engine bay here shortly got the uh, engine running for a couple minutes already one of the first things i like to check upon startup is to check the uh, tailpipe what i'm looking for there is any type of smoke whether it be black blue gray or, or white it's coming out uh, clear and even see any condensation also i like to look at to see where the oil pressure uh is at and it's just a bit below the uh, two in between the one. That's good. 
And uh, now when I step on the accelerator, it should pick up to number three if it's working properly. Yep, there it goes. Okay, good. All right, temperature is maintaining under a half. Uh, again, I'm going to let the engine run for about 10, 15 minutes while I'm checking other stuff. Uh, um, I mainly want to see if the car overheats, if uh, it sits for a period of time. Don't hear any abnormal noises coming from the bottom or the top end of the engine. Uh, the brake fluid's uh, getting a little uh, dark, still useful, but at some point you do want to exchange that fluid. It should be like a nice tan color. I've also checked the, um, the vacuum lines. Uh, I don't like messing with them too much, but they feel like they still have some elasticity there, not brittle. But again, uh, I don't even mess with those. Um, again, feeling those, rubber feels good. Cool leaves are look nice and straight. Uh, power steering fluid. I've got a nice still photo of that, but that fluid is pretty dark too. So as part of the maintenance program or maintenance uh, checkup, it's something that you want to replace at some point. Uh, I got all the, uh, the, the VIN number. Also check the side of the radiator. I can see sometimes they'll leak at the seam, and that is anything. Pulled the oil already. Oil looks great. Um, I like to squeeze the hoses as well. Uh, they feel pretty good and not brittle. All right. Uh, at first, this concerned me a little bit. I saw uh, that's uh, coolant right there. So I checked the tank. I did notice uh, there's some stress cracks here, but I, I got my finger underneath and I couldn't feel it on the opposite side. Uh, but I did notice that this is like the overflow drainage and it, it goes right down to that channel. So more than likely, that's what it is. Again, I checked the side of the tank and that looks okay. Uh, the um, um, transmission fluid, nice clean color. Uh, it didn't smell burnt or I, did I, I didn't see any debris. Everything else looks pretty clean, the firewall, and I like that the insulation uh, for the uh, under the hood uh, looks fairly new. So that's in great shape. Again, I'm gonna let it run for another 10, 15 minutes and uh, see how it does just uh, idling uh, and i'll check the temperature again uh, the idle is really good nice solid no fluctuation there and uh I'll move on. i've been driving already for the past two miles uh, so everything seems to be working pretty good i've already verified the operation of the uh, turn signals headlights uh fog lamps reverse lights work uh, gauges uh, all seem to be operational. I've had the car idling for half an hour. Temperature is just above half, which is pretty good. Uh, fuel gauge looks like it's working as well, and then oil pressure is responsive. 98043 is the out mileage so far. Uh, RPM's working, uh, the odometer, uh, speedometer is working. Uh, there's no shimmy in the steering wheel um, when I'm at speed. Also verified the operation of the cruise control that worked as well. The only thing I couldn't verify is the AC uh, blowing cold. Uh, heater worked, but no no cold air. So when I get back, I'll ask Jeremy to make sure it's not an operational uh, issue on my end. Uh, shifting seems to be seamless. It seems to go through all the gears from uh, low to high uh, to finally into drive. Uh, when I apply the brakes uh, with the hands off here, I uh, just want to make sure that the, it doesn't uh, dart over to the left or to the right. It veered a little bit, but as you can see with the road, there's a little bit of crowning there. Um, and my top speed was about 55 miles an hour and I didn't hear any excessive uh, uh, tire noise. Uh, engine seemed to be performing well. Transmission was shifting nice. Didn't hear any clunks coming from the transmission. Uh, the, horn, the horn worked uh, right now it's not, so I'll have to check that. So I'm glad I checked that again. Windshield wipers work, even the, even the washer jets uh, uh, worked, which I was, that surprised me. Typically that stuff never works. Uh, the washer jet that is. And uh, what else did I mention here? Um, all right, so I'll head back. I'll have to see what's going on with the horn. I could have swore I heard that, but maybe I was thinking about the other car that I was uh, looking. Uh, but we know the horn is not working now. So it seems like the horn is working before I pulled in back into the parking spot. I tried it and it's working now, so that's kind of weird.